So I was poking around the interwebs and I saw people talking about all these different things that they were on track to learn uh, as students. For first, they were going to do front end, and they were going to do back end, and they were going to do AI and data science, and then they were going to do mobile. And I say, that's pretty bad. You don't want to spread yourself so thin trying to learn everything that's out there. You should learn the fundamentals of development. I always suggest the web stack because it allows for the widest range of job opportunities, allows for the widest range of programming genre opportunities, meaning you can do visual programming or you can do architectural, you can do very uh, algorithmic detailed, although let me stress algorithms and the importance of algorithms and software development is hugely exaggerated in the V nerd sphere out there. If you're doing AI and game development, yes, but if you're doing it, most other types of development, not that important, not that important. Anyway, don't want to, you don't want to spread yourself too thin trying to learn everything under the sun. It's, uh, it's tutorial hell. It's tutorial hell. It's, that's a term that people use when they keep on buying tutorials, 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 and never getting anywhere in particular. It relates back to my martial arts experience. So we're going to go way back in time, and I'm about 17 years old, and I had been doing martial arts at this point for about seven years. I started when I was 10. And I had done several different styles. So I'm 17 years old, maybe 18, who knows? I think it was 17. Anyway, so I'm training in three different styles at the same time. So uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm doing catch Kembo. Uh, Tuesday, Thursday, I'm doing Aikido. And then Friday, and I think, uh, I think it was Fridays, I was doing freestyle wrestling, something like that. So I'm doing three different styles, and I'm progressing in each of them. At this point in time, I had seven years of training, but I wasn't a black belt or anything. I wasn't really an expert. I had a lot of knowledge across different styles. I had done many, several other styles as well over the years. So I had a lot of knowledge, but all very beginner knowledge. Uh, and my skill level was kind of intermediate level overall. And one of my teachers said to me, says, Steph, you know, at this point in time, you should be far, a far more accomplished martial artist. You should be a far better fighter the amount of time you put into it. He says, the problem is, is that you're spreading yourself too thin. So you're not taking something deep enough to develop those core fundamental skills that will make you a good fighter. See, when you jump from judo to aikido, to wrestling, to boxing, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I wasn't doing boxing at the time. But anyway, you get the idea. When you jump around like that, you're not giving yourself enough time to really get a hardcore understanding and ability as a fighter. Now, in fighting, if you want to know, the techniques are the least important aspect of fighting. It is uh, timing, tactics, mental, physical conditioning, uh, speed, power. These are things, body mechanics. These are things that separate the great fighters from the bad. By switching around, I wasn't able to really develop my skill as a fighter. So what I did is I took his advice, even though I didn't really believe it or understand it at the time. I said, you know, this, this guy is a really great fighter. He's much more experienced than me. He must know what he's doing. So I took his advice, and I, sh I studied. I dropped the other stuff, and I studied one style. And that took me much further faster. And within, I don't know, two years or so, my skills went, went whew, and what magically happened, he told me what happened. He said, once you pick one style and concentrate on it and get good at it, it will raise your game across all the styles you've done. And that's exactly what happened. So I took, took one style, concentrated on it, got really good. Then my game as a fighter increased across all the styles that I had been trained in. All of a sudden, I became much more advanced in all these different styles, even though I hadn't, hadn't trained in them for a couple of years because I had been concentrating. But by doing that, that was the key to my uh, evolution as a martial artist. Same thing with programming. If you jump around too much, try to do this and this and this and this and this and this and this, and this it's going to take you forever to get anywhere. So my advice to you is to pick a style, pick a style, pick a stack, pick something you want to do, and stick to it until you're productive. And then when you're productive, what will happen is you're going to have an appreciation for software development and coding, and your eyes will open up, your nerd eyes will get big and huge, and you'll be able to absorb the whole landscape around you and make intelligent decisions about what you're going to do. 
One thing to keep in mind, advanced developers don't think in terms of what type of programmer they are. They don't say, I'm a Java programmer, or I'm a JavaScript programmer. They say, I'm a developer, I'm a programmer. And if the job requires JavaScript, I do JavaScript. If it requires Python, I do Python. If it requires Ruby, I don't do it. I hope you found this video useful. I'm Steph, Uncle Steph. I have mentoring programs slash bootcamp you may want to check out. If you want to learn about managing your emotions, check out Lizard Wizard down below. Lizard Wizard Komo is free, and Lizard Wizard is my little course. But people love it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.